my dear students today we are going to deal with yet another interesting class of our chapter climate change a speech by leonardo di caprio from the last two classes we came to know about the details of the actor leonardo di caprio we also watched a profile video of our author in our first class and i have given a small homework for you to create the profile of the author Leonardo DiCaprio So today we are going to deal with the rest part of his speech climate change is not a hysteria it is a fact come let's join together and read our textbook open your textbook so before starting with today's passage let me brief the speech for you Leonardo DiCaprio delivers the speech climate change is not a hysteria it is a fact in front of the un assembly i already mentioned you about the climate variation challenge submit that india and many other countries are portraying towards and india has taken a good decision in that meeting and india has going to claim about the usages of renewable sources and they are going to ban every kind of coal usages and over pollutant agents in our society so this whole speech conveys the message of duty bound responsibility of every individual to protect the nature from the hazardous calamities and the natural uh, sorry not not natural climatic variations that it is facing in this class also we are going to deal with the rest part of the speech where di caprio is concentrating on the remedies where we can come across this situation So let's read the passage. Here is the passage for you. Now is our moment for action. We need to put a price tag on carbon emissions and eliminate government subsidies for coal, gas and oil companies. We need to end the free ride that industrial polluters have been given in the name of a free market economy. They don't deserve our tax dollars. they deserve our scrutiny for the economy itself will die if our ecosystem collapse the good news is that renewable energy is not only achievable but good economic policy okay so i hope you all read the story along with me not the story the speech along with me so now it is the time for you to read that passage or the content that we discussed just now have a silent reading now here are some questions for you and later we will discuss the meaning of the difficult words that you found from the story now is a moment what is the moment for where should we put a price tag on What is the good news here? Here are the meanings for some of the difficult words. Scrutiny, meaning critical observation or examination. Example: He didn't scrutinize the grocery bill. Renewable, meaning capable of being renewed. re-established or revived example we are on renewable annual contracts emission something to release to the nature example carbon emissions can cause damage to the nature so come on let us go deep into our textbook di caprio highlights that this is the moment for action and also in our textbook we can see the picture of a factory where the chimney vessels are emitting too much of smoke you know that smoke emissions especially coal emissions can cause damage to the air air pollution can happen going into the chapter caprio says that we need to put a price tag on the carbon emissions because we know that every year every day carbon emissions are increasing and uh, eliminate government subsidies for coal gas and oil companies 
many coal gas and oil companies are getting subsidies and they are uh, developing more coal and other oil products but the waste emissions of these productions are causing damage to our nature even knowing this we are helpless we can't do anything without the support of the government we need to end the entire free ride that industrial polluters have been given in the name of a free market economy in the first class i already mentioned you to skip one day ride in a vehicle in order to save the future of our coming generation uh, they don't deserve our tax dollars they deserve our scrutiny for the economy itself will die if our ecosystem collapse so if the ecosystem is getting collapsed our economy is also going to get collapsed the good news that de caprio mentions in this part of the speech is renewable energy is not only achievable but it is also a good economic policy so if you are going to work on the renewable resources for the betterment of our economic pro- economic achievement we can take our nation to a better economy this is what de caprio highlights in this part of the speech so why can we discuss some of these questions Come, let us answer these questions that are following. What is the scope of renewable energy in the future? What is the remedy to stop the emission from coal mines? What can be the action De Caprio is mentioning? It is time for a creative writing now. Prepare a write-up on the over emission of gas from factory. Here are some points that can help you in your write up. Today's creative activity. It is a homework for you. Create a poster showing the emission of smoke that causes pollution in our air. Question once more. Create a poster for the protection of nature from the pollutant air. You can say that factories are emitting too much of smoke and that smoke is causing damage to the surrounding or the atmosphere which is dealing to the climate change. Okay, so the question is prepare a poster showing that factory smoke is causing damage to the nature. I am eagerly waiting your creative posters with colors and paint. Send it to me as soon as possible. My dear students, so we are coming to an end of today's class. I hope you enjoyed the class. I will come with the rest of the speech in the next class. So till then, take care. We will meet you in the next class.